Hey, it's Kendrick with Technology Interpreters. And so today I'm going to teach you how to do some really entry-level PowerShell commands that are very, very powerful. My dad works as a cybersecurity engineer, and I use PowerShell to be able to remediate vulnerabilities and also just fix a lot of things on a Windows environment. I know you've been taught about Python and everybody says Python, but just keep in mind, I want to shift your mindset into something that's going to actually help you to get a job. There are a lot of defender jobs. I'm going to show you the skills necessary. So this is helpful to you. Please subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the command we're going to do, this is builds on my previous video, which we use the get dash process command. So let's go ahead and type that. Now, if you look at tutorials, you see like a lot of times it's in, it's in kind of like the first letters capitalized. You can do this all lowercase, so no issue there. All right, so what this does, this is going to display all the running processes on my VM. And I'm going to kind of make this full screen so that you all can see this very good. Okay, and let's, uh, okay, I'm out of the way. Cool. So with that being the case, that's your first command. The second one is we got a list of commands here, but let, let's say if I want to look specifically at OneDrive. So we're going to use OneDrive kind of as our target for today's exercise. The way that we do that is get dash process and we're going to type, I'm going to show you this first. You can do a dash name because OneDrive that pulls it up, but here's a hack. And I, you notice I put that in, you know, capital letters kind of matched it. But if I just say OneDrive, that also works. And if I do it in lowercase, it all works. So what it's doing is giving me some basic information. And like right here, you see this ID. This is the process ID. So everything that runs on your computer is going to be assigned a process ID. And that's very helpful because think about it. If you have malware or something that's running, you're on a machine, you're troubleshooting, you find the malware and you want to identify the process ID. You want to identify everything associated with this malware. This is what I'm going to help you with today. All right, so the thing is, we've already identified OneDrive. We got multiple ways of doing that. But let's say we want to identify all the modules associated with OneDrive. So we can just type dash modules, module singular, okay? And that's going to show me all the different modules, which are DLLs. These are files associated with that running program. So if this were malware, this would be something that may be like very helpful. I haven't personally used the module command at this point in time, it may be something that's beneficial, but hey, it's something good to have in your pocket. But okay, so module, but also, what if we wanna know about the file version of OneDrive? The reason this is helpful is because when you're doing vulnerability remediation, you may look and I may run a script to update, say I'm updating Firefox or something like their Microsoft Teams or Adobe or whatever, and when I'm trying to do the update, I really don't know if it actually was successful, right? Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. Well, the way I can do this, I can use the file, version info command so that actually tells me the product version of OneDrive that's currently on my machine also I can even expound on that all right so let's say if I want to look at OneDrive I want to see what user that this is running on think about it in the context of malware you really would like if you found some malware or something on a machine you really would like to know the context or who or which account is running in so what you can do is OneDrive and you can do dash include user name and i'm looking at my notes over there because i wanted to make sure i was concise on what i gave you all right so that's going to be include username right there and it shows right there and so now you can see that one drive is actually one on the win eval 2022 this is like the whatever admin, admin account or whatever account that the virtual machine runs under okay right now so now that we've got that let's say if we want to pull this what if we notice what if we for some reason have a process id which we can see, remember I told you note this, OneDrive runs this process ID 4568. Well, we can just omit that and we can just immediately go to dash ID and we can put 4568. That pulls the OneDrive process ID and you can see right there. So essentially does the same thing. So you can do it by name or process ID, but you can also do dash include user name. And so that also does so. So we pulled it by name with the username and we pulled it by ID with the username. But let's say if we want to do something a little nicer, what if we really want to do a, some formatting on this output? So, and we want to like pull everything that's associated with this program and format it into a list. We can do this. So let's go back and let's just use get process OneDrive. And we're going to pipe that. So what happens in this is without going into too much detail. When you use the pipe command, and this is used in Linux and in PowerShell, so Linux shell scripting and other language, but basically you're taking one command, you're sending the output to another function 
or another small program you can think of it like and it's going to do something with the output from the first command so that's why piping is really so interesting because you can do some formatting which we're going to do so we're going to take the get process which basically gives us this kind of information we're going to send this over to the format list command okay and so it's going to be just like this and we're going to do asterisk so we can see everything related to OneDrive, and it's going to put that in a nice format so look at look at how nice and neat that is so with this one command for OneDrive, right very simple command all of a sudden i pulled everything related to OneDrive, how much memory is allocating. So you can see once again, in cybersecurity, this could be very, very helpful. Okay, but let's say if I wanna take this a step further and I just wanna pull a single attribute from this, attribute from this. So you see, we got file version here. I've already done it another way, but I wanna show you this. So of this list, anything on this left side, we can use individually. So I put an asterisk the first time. If I put PM, it pulls the PM. If I put Let's see right there, working set at the end. Working set 64, it just pulls that attribute. If I say file version, which was further up. So you can see how this is very useful. And so this is where I'm gonna start right here. Like I'd love to have some feedback on you on this module. I've kind of, there's some more things like there, but I don't feel like they're like beneficial for where you and I may be at this point. But there's a lot more that you can do with this command. So if this video was helpful, please drop a like on the video. This is not the end. This is just one video in the series. I'm going to move on to the start process, stop process commands, and I'll walk through those next time. So anyway, if this is helpful, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity tutorials that will actually help you get a job in the industry. Thanks for watching.